Hey, what's up, guys? Today, Google officially announced the Nexus 4, the Nexus 10, and Android 4.2, which is the latest phone in the Nexus line of Google flagship devices. The Nexus 4 is built by LG, and the phone will feature a 4.7 inch 1280 by 768 IPS display, a 1.5 GHz quad core Snapdragon S4. Pro processor, an 8 megapixel camera, and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Alongside the improved screen and faster CPU, the Nexus 4 has a 2 GB of RAM, Wi Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth, and built in capabilities with Google latest accessories. The phone will also have a 21 milliamp battery, which the company claims will get you about 10 hours of, battery of talk time. And the device would sell for $299 with 8GB of storage or $349 with 16GB and would be released on November 13th. A T-Mobile version will also sell unlocked for $199 on a two-year contract. And the one downside of this device is that it will not have LTE capabilities. The device will only be an unlocked a HSPA Plus phone. And the device will also come with Android 4.2. Next on the Nexus 10 tablet that Google also unveiled today, the Nexus 10 tablet feature a very impressive 10 inch screen at 2560 by 1600 resolution, clocked in at 300 ppi. It also features a dual front facing speaker for audio, micro USB and micro HDMI, and not one but two NFC chips, one on the front and one on the back. It will come in 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabyte variation and would be Wi-Fi only. The processor behind the tablet is a powerful dual-core ARM Cortex-A15 chip paired with 2 gigabytes of RAM. The device will also have a 5 megapixel camera, back camera, and a 1.9 megapixel front-facing camera. The battery has a 9,000 9, megahertz me milliamp capacity which Google says should be good for up to 9 hours of HD video playback. The device will also come with stock Android 4.2 and Google is selling the tablet for $399 for a 16GB version and $499 for the 32GB version, $100 less for the 32GB iPad. Lastly, Android Firmware 2, which is shipping with both of these new devices, will come with a lot of new features, like being able to add widgets to the lock screen and a photo spare panoramic photos, which is a panoramic photo taker but is more in depth. Gesture typing on the keyboard and message zooming in Gmail and improvements to Google Now. So, yo guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Please leave a comment below about what you think about these new devices that Google announced in Android 4.2. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. Okay, guys, hope to see you next one. Alright, bye.